Uh, hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today has been a crazy freaking day. I just got invited to like 50 freaking pump and dumps and I've also kept getting invited to these scam telegram chats and I've noticed 2017 for crypto is really freaking back and that comes with a couple of warnings that I'm going to be giving you guys today plus kind of a a negative side to the whole pump and dump activity which we're seeing right in front of us but first what city are you watching from represent your city down below as i'm always interested to see where you guys are watching from and if you're in discord already you've probably chat with me but if you aren't check it out i'm in this voice chat all the time too so just come join and let's chat for fun if you want to or just stick around and talk with other people who hold xrp or just some other fun stuff right just come check it out it is going to be worth it now, starting it off, I have a Telegram, or at least I am on Telegram, and I noticed that if you are in an XRP group, that there will be a ton of other people who are trying to basically add you to a different Telegram group, basically wanting you to believe that it was the previous one, and then sharing like a story of Brett Gollinghouse is trying to give away 1 million XRP, or something along those lines, Ripple's trying to give it away. Notice that this is not true. Ripple has no Telegram, and if they do, you, you would not probably be invited like that. They're not doing a giveaway, nothing along those lines, so cut it out. It is not going to happen. And then the second one, which is even the most important one, is mostly on Discord, where they are trying to invite you to different Telegrams or different Discords, like this one, for example, on the left here. Again, I got to monitor it, right? I got to check out what's happening so I can warn other people if necessary. And basically what this is, is it's a pump group where they all come in at the same time. And you, you might think, oh, this is logical. But no, a lot of people don't understand pump and dump groups. They all come in at the same time. And what they do is the owners of the group, they buy a coin. And then a couple of hours later, a couple of days later, whatever, they tell you a date that they're going to be pumping some coin. You're going to just wait there around your computer. And then once the date comes, they'll announce the coin, you all buy it. And they sell, which is basically going to lose you money and make them a lot of money. Some will win, but most will lose, and that is illegal. And in fact, a lot of people are referring to this XRP pump and dump thing as something illegal too. But it is debatable as the rules are quite unclear. If it is a coordinated effort to just buy something, it's called it can be considered market manipulation. On a different end, I would like to argue that if you are a whale, you and you are, for example, a wealth manager, and you take investments from 10,000 different people, they all invest in you basically, and you trade their money, then that's really the same thing as a 10,000 people coming together and buying at the same time, instead of you buying 10,000 people's money worth in your, on your own. If you see what I'm trying to say, it's basically the same thing, but the one is illegal and the one is pretty legal, unless you really don't sell, and as long as it's not a coordinated effort officially, then... I mean, whatever. But the point is, I just saw this article here and I've been thinking for a little second. XRP faces more exchange suspensions following pump and dump activity. I also have said it before, I'm going to say it again. This is really 2017 again. And it's really that a lot of these exchanges, and a lot of people are afraid that the whole pump and dump culture, which is now being brought up again, is going to really take over in a negative way. Where it's like, okay, you right now think that you can just buy any coin and it's going to go up because Ethereum was pumping like crazy. Almost all the coins are pumping like crazy. It's going pretty mad. Look at this. Bitcoin up 3%, not too much, but Ethereum <clears throat> up 12%. Polkadot up 8 ADA up 20 LTC up 10 And you can go on for a little while. There's quite a lot of coins that have pumped just now. Yeah, so people are like, well, I could just buy some coins. It's going to go up. And so they're just irrationally investing, irrationally going for it. And those people will eventually be the ones who either burn you <clears throat> or who get burned themselves. Because crypto won't rise forever. Right now, I think we're mid-cycle. Right, so specifically XRP, I think we are down a little bit before going back up. That might sound really kind of cheeky, but as I said before, I think the 22nd is going to be a very important day. And there's two scenarios. Either we go up in anticipation of the 22nd, as people are expecting a good ripple hearing, or we actually go up from the 22nd on forward. And as I said before, if we have the second scenario, it'll most likely be a pump first, little bit of a correction throughout the day and then another huge pump for the next couple of days that's because we always see it that way even we saw it here you can see a huge pump correction for a little bit and then another huge pump i guess you can call it two but it's basically just huge pump and then falling back down 
right around 30% or so before continuing on with the pump. And that's basically what I'm thinking is going to happen. Again, at least that's the highest likelihood of happening. And from that perspective, I also know right now, all, all of us can be bullish. And even I would say, all of this buying is going to be rewarded. However, that won't always be the case. And you should always understand that crypto will turn around at one point or another. Now, will XRP really go below 17 cents at one point in the future? I do not know. Will ADA really be worth 8 cents in the future? I do not know. Can it happen? And should you be worried about them? I would definitely say yes. And also, these that we're talking about here are top freaking coins, right? I have them all. I love them. But if you're talking about a pump and dump coin, it may really be so that you buy it and you'll never make profit on it because it's just so inflated and all exchanges and all other people don't want to associate with it anymore. That could definitely be the case. Or that you buy it right now, you're like, okay, I'll wait a couple of months, it's going to be fine. And all of a sudden, in a couple of months, the, the whole sentiment turns around, things go negative again, and you've really just lost a lot of money. Basically, the warning here is just to be careful with what you buy and stick to ones that you really like fundamentally, not just the ones that sound cool or somebody just, your buddy told you about it. Because even though it might work for the next couple of weeks, what if it turns around, that whole idea? Right. And, and also, again, it's not the best way to invest in things. In my own opinion, I would just go for coins that really where you like the fundamentals on a different end, though. If you like some people said only have, let's say, fifty dollars, twenty dollars to invest in crypto, and you just want to kind of bet all or nothing. Yeah. Then again, be, be my guest. I was just saying a lot of the people I know, they're asking more so for value investing for coins that they really want to hold through for the next couple of years. And they just want to get some huge gains. I would always say, be happy with the gains that these top cryptos can give you, because I think it's still going to be immense. If Bitcoin goes to $100,000, that is still times three. You have it thinking, Dusty? That is nothing times three. Well, it's still three times your money with no effort, no work. So if you've worked for your money, it's still going to three times, right? It's going to go increase by, three. it's just three times as much money in a very short amount of time, possibly. With XRP, we're now, right now at 37 cents. If we go to all-time high, that's times 10 you don't think that's quite a lot, you might be mistaken. And again, that's not even my real sell points. These are just kind of starts for what these top coins can still do. It's not like you're going to need a very 7,000 spot coin, which has such a low market cap, because that's really just betting on that people are going to pump it up or people are going to take adoption of that. But what are the chances of that type of stuff? It's a very low chance. I would personally say just stick around coins that you really like fundamentally. And again, it doesn't have to be top 50. It could also just be top 500 or so. But it's mostly the coins that really are doing something already that have the highest chance of popping off like crazy during bull runs. This is excluding coins that are not official or out just quite yet, as I also like quite a lot of those. And man, I've been also checking out Twitter all day, just checking it out, seeing what you guys have been writing. I have read so much Twitter today, you would not believe it. But I also wanted to quickly tell you, don't let a bad day make you feel like you have a bad life. We all have bad days in trading. We all have bad days in, I guess, holding crypto. A lot of people are talking right now about what the price is going to do, what the, ee, what, what was that? What the price is going to do. But in the end, guys, nobody really knows. All we know is, damn, is crypto getting popular? And damn, are a lot of people going to get burned? So I'm just buying it right now with these lower prices. I'm happy. Eventually, though, let's say we're at this little top. There's going to be a lot of people going to buy. We're like, well, we're going to be getting higher and higher and higher, which they will most likely be right for. But again, if people keep continuing on with that idea, like, oh, we'll just keep going higher. And if we go down a little bit, I'll just sell it eventually they're going to get burned because that's one thing I also did not say. A lot of these guys are here quick, quick money, quick money, quick money. So if the price goes up 5%, they're, they're happy, okay, okay, but they want 40% gain. So they're waiting and the price goes down 5% and all of a sudden like, well, that was it for me. I'm going to sell my crypto. I'm going to take my loss and be happy with it because they don't understand how normal micro cycles go. Even this pump and dump, which some people call it, which I still would actually only call just a, a good increase in the crypto price, went up at first, as we've said, we've established this, 200%. And then down, right around, oh, let's quickly see again, right down, about 52%. You think that's really bad? I would really like to disagree with you. I would say this was a very good little cycle, and I would actually hope that this just continues on. If we see another one of these, theoretically speaking, it should just go up at 200%, so it'd be, for example, 218 or something, right around here, 80 cents, and then from 80 cents, we'd fall back down 50 Ending up again at a higher, either equilibrium or basically a higher price, right? So right around there. So we then end up at 60 cents as kind of a baseline or 50, uh, 56, whatever, instead of uh, right around 37. You see what I'm trying to say? These types of moves are perfect and you want them. Once more, they won't last forever, but right now it is still booming and going crazy. So I am using that to my advantage and I'm buying a lot of freaking coins. This GSX thing I talked about before, the reason I'm personally buying it, right? 
is not because I think this is going to take over the entire game. The main reason is right now it is 10 cents a pop, 10 cents a coin, plus 17%, plus 5% for using the link. The reason I go for it is not because I think it's going to be number one, not because I think it's going to be number 10, but because we're in a crazy market right now, and once this coin goes live, I'm hoping that we're going to have some similar effect that the graph, for example, had, right? So graph is um, GRT, I believe. Yeah, there we go, GRT. Coins like this, even though these have other backings, right? They sometimes, from inception already, go ridiculously crazy and just do well, right? So people could have bought this for ridiculously cheap uh, a, lo a long time ago, Right now, that started at 10 cents, and now it's 70. This is the span of like two months or so. That can happen, because these are small coins, but not that small. They just start off big. And sometimes you're lucky with that, and if you can get them in pre-sale, I would definitely try to pick some of those coins. I would just kind of stay away from coins that are in the 5,000th spot, 7,000th spot, as not all coins do good. And if these guys promise you a coin is going to do good, they're most likely lying because they want you to pump it or something like that. Because there's also a lot of pump and dumps disguised and just, we just get this coin because there's good fundamentals or some YouTuber's talking about it because he likes the project, he's going to say, whatever. Just be careful around them. And I'm also afraid of the consequences, like this tweet. Following recent events surrounding XRP, as well as delisting of the asset across multiple liquidity providers, the following trading pairs will be removed on Wednesday, XRP to BTC and XRP to USD from Prime XBT. So... On one end, I find it really strange that they're doing this because, well, you would think, why not just, you know, stop it for either U.S. instead of taking it out all the way? On a different end, I'm also like, well, why get rid of it now if you didn't get rid of it earlier? So the question is, was this really because of the events? Then was it really because of the pump and dump type of situation? But then, is it really because there's not enough liquidity or the pump and dump? Well, what, what is it? Like, why, why are they doing that? Because it's not like they really only sell to U.S. or basically only transact with U.S., so what's the idea then? Have they gotten scared of pump and dumps? You would think an exchange loves them because it gives them a ton of money in fees, especially if people go for market orders. So why then? Is it really a coordinated effort against XRP? Is it really the truth in hindsight? A lot of you guys are always saying, Dusty, please don't think this is all natural because even though this move may look natural, the way it went is not natural. And I always like to disagree. I would always say, man, it, it could really just have been normal, yada, yada. But no. Sometimes when I read these types of things, I'm really a little bit more convinced that they're all trying to really target XRP specifically for some reason. Let me quickly check this tweet out. It is in Japanese, Chinese, Jap no, Japanese. Let's quickly uh, translate the tweet. About the resumption of sale of XRP, we have resumed the sale of XRP, which had been suspended. We apologize for any inconvenience this time. We look forward to your continued support on CoinCheck. I also don't know why they actually stop the the suspension about the suspension currently Coincheck is suspending the sale of xrp in consideration of the transaction status with the covered company we will inform you this is the first of february about the resumption we apologize for the inconvenience and thank you for your cooperation so they did this all in one day how does how the freak does that work why would that why would that be a thing once more it's all freaking strange why is it all going on this way are they afraid of the pump and dumps or, or what if you know just let me know in the comment section down below. Hey, good rhymes. Because I don't get it. And I've been checking a lot of freaking Twitter. And it just really is starting to get into my head that they're trying something against XRP. I, I've read the lawsuit. The, sorry, guys. I can not say I have read the lawsuit. I've read Ripple's response. Again, I don't think they'll win every point. I think the SEC definitely has a couple of bangers. But I do not think XRP will actually be called a security. I'm Again, I'm putting my full faith on that. Full faith. Will Ripple get a fine? Maybe, somewhere. I mean, you got to think about it. There's 400 points. It could be that Ripple is going to lose on some of them because they don't have proper grounds to defend themselves. But will XRP be called a security, which is the baseline, the most important part? No, I do not think so. Can it happen? Yes, but I personally do not think so. And from that perspective, I would think we should just keep staying bullish, right? We should keep staying excited. And I am. I definitely am. But why are these exchanges then? Even one in Japan being negative about them or stopping the trading what is going on it's a strange situation that's all i wanted to share here real quick also yeah let me know how you guys are doing right now it's a crazy freaking space guys it is getting crazier and crazier and the people are getting unrestier and unrestier all because of the wall street bets all because of the doge situation and i do not know if it's good i do not know if i like it and if anybody ever tries to attempt a xrp pump and dump again i'm gonna be the first one to ever shut it down because that stuff i i'm definitely not a supporter of it anymore i will talk about it like i always do i'll definitely talk about it but i'm going to really tell people to just stick away and whatever you can just take profit because in the end everybody's acting out of their own self-interest as we have seen 
Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you all again in another crypto video. Enjoy your day, and uh, yeah, have a nice one.